but we'll see uh we'll see what happens here in q2 under the lights currently according to air density online right 960 feet 160 feet of air 66 degrees Water grains is 62.6, humidity 65%, and that sounds like a 2JZ, and it is. Definitely is, and uh, that ain't your grandma's 240, that ain't your your boyfriend's 240 either. He's like, man, I'm going to make this into a serious car. I mean, this is like max effort 240 right there. Yeah, I'm going to say this is about the most serious 240 that you could ever have. So, like, if your boyfriend's like, yeah, I bought a 240, I'm going to make it cool. It ain't going to ever be this cool. Ever. Yeah, no matter whether it's an eighth mile or quarter mile. So Dom DiNonato, right side in the Mustang, the turbo powered GT500. The Ferrier are currently sitting number one, DiDonato number two. Two hundredths of a second separate them. Looking for Joseph Rivera for LDR. Joseph Rivera, LDR. Need you to the lanes. If you're not going to make it, please send a representative to tell us you're not coming. Yeah, so it is fast in the eighth mile. You know, went at 4.17.0. It went 6.39.2 at 225 miles an hour in the quarter. That's moving. Yeah. So both cars going to load the boost here in the first pair of X275. Can we see... An improvement. DiDonato out on him. Eric LeFerrier drives back around him. 4-13-0. 182. Both ends of the X275 record just now for this event. You guys seen it live. DiDonato, no slouch, though. 4-17-5. He'll stay number two. LeFerrier will stay number one. The Ferrier just said, let's go. White Rice to number one. Yeah, that's some spicy rice there. Like, that might look tame, but you ain't going to want to mess with that. Next that pair. Absolutely ridiculous there. Big DJ McCain. We got us a nitrous battle here. DJ Number four qualifier, 420 with a five. Your most recent champion in uh, the category here. Uh, they won in Alabama where Ron Rhodes was shaking it down and uh, shook it to where it broke. And uh, he, I don't even think he made it out of qualifier. Made one qualifier and that was it. But that was the first time with the big block. But you know how them things go. So small block, not need not apply here in x275 racing is the delaware native mr rhodes rhodes custom auto machine here calvert suspension neil chance converters holly efi bes power here number three qualifier 419.5 179 we just seen some side-by-side -side teams we might see it again here i know rod rhodes is sitting in that car looking down there as right weiss ran through the traps and he said man we're gonna have to see what this big block's got. Yeah, he's got some. Uh, he's got some impressive mile an hour there. I was over there and was walking around on our break, and uh, he was putting some jets into Moda. Well, so it's uh, always a good sign when uh, uh, you're jetting something. her up. Yeah, DJ McCain over there, the McCain family racing machine in the left hand side, looking to repeat his performance. Both of them good down low. They were good off the tree. DJ will get whole shot. No, not whole shot. He will get outrun there. 4-17-4. Four, four, side by side 17s. That's how it's, it's pretty good right there. 174 mile an hour, but Ron Rhodes, 181. Just a little bit under the six cylinder that's got the nitrous and the turbo. So Ron Rhodes, similar combination to DJ McCain. But it's carrying seven mile an hour across the board. Talk about putting it on the show. First two pair in X275 laid down the gauntlet. 
the bar is really high as far as side-by-side -side racing here in X275. Both pairs of cars that went down the track could be the final at any event, and they've both been exciting. So Todd Casper, left side, in the Mustang, taking on Jeff Helsinger. We need the first four pair of Pro 275, Marcus Burt, Jason Collins, Roger Holder, Brian McGree, McGee, Jack Green, Bill Lutz, Frank Solerich, and Luz Cortino. First four pairs of X275 to the lanes, please. The first four pairs of X275 to the lanes, please. So Todd Casper currently sitting number five, 422-1. Helsinger, 426-4 is your number seven qualifier. Todd Casper turns the top ball one, invites Helsinger to the dance. Both drivers are in, here we go. Candles are lit. Top end. 437-4 for Casper, 435-0 for Helsinger. Both drivers, no help for their qualifying effort. Watching it back here on the Motor Mania TV replay, Helsinger might have uh, donated a few soldiers down there. Hey, they're willing to die in battle. Scott Parson, Kenny Hubbard. Kenny Hubbard was on a uh, win streak for a long time. He was pretty much undefeated for plenty and plenty of uh, races. And then Scott Parson came up and was like, aha, and took out Kenny Hubbard. Boat drivers were in the 20s earlier this, this morning. We got similar conditions kind of to what we had in Q1 this morning. We'll see if... Uh, these drivers will turn them up a little bit, maybe make some improvements, get it into the teens. Yeah, I'm sure the uh, track has to be just a little cooler. There, I'm sure that might help a little bit. We're going to see Big Kenny Hubbard here from Montgomery, Texas, the Nizer. Small block power. They got it wicked up right there. 419.9 and a 17.9 for Parson. So uh, Kenny definitely having the power to run up front, but uh, in testing, they torched ahead and they had to wait on one to get here. So, so we're going to creep back up on it. We ain't just trying to take no swings because we ain't got another head. So the top six cars in X275 right now in the 14 range. Nice. Uh, this is going to be a spicy matchup right here. The old diesel dummy, I'm sure, is definitely capable of uh, getting her figured out here. The Hardway Performance, Fleece Engineering, Sinister Diesel, SNS, Motorsport. I got it figured out. The Freedom Racing Engines, Cummins. So certainly there's a guy out there who's like, man, I got me a Cummins. Could be as fast as Ryan Milliken's car. Definitely one of the more unique combinations in the class here in XU75. Ryan Milliken, left side with the diesel-powered Nova. Something you don't really see. Eric Hendricks, right side in the Stang. Yeah, they do, the rules don't differentiate between diesel and, you know, 2JZ. It's just six cylinders and six cylinder, no matter how you cut it. So it's got to weigh like 31 something, which they're still overweight at, but still very, very, very impressive. So can the diesel put it in the 14 range? Right side, building the boost. Diesel building the boost. All of it. Struck the tires early. Had to get out of it. Right side, 
heard a big boom down there at the bottom end. They're going to have to go down and check that one. Yeah, Milliken was, he was had the spicy boy tune up in it. That thing was like 108 and was still losing the tire. Watching it back here on the Moto Mini or TV replay, it, uh, it definitely let loose down there about the 600 foot mark. A lot of uh, smoke from directly under the bottom. Make some noise for our uh, number one X275 qualifier here as well as uh, X275 record holder at the Yellow Bullet. Good job, boys. Good job. So he's already gone. Penalty box, they were on it, though. Appreciate you guys. Way to keep us uh, keep us in check there, penalty box. Did we ever find Debbie? No? No. Uh, we tried. So if Eric, Eric Hendricks' crew could uh, hustle down the return road there and get him pushed off the track, that would be stellar. We'd appreciate you guys. I believe I think they just went by on the golf cart. So the crew for Hendricks, if you guys could hustle down there and get him off the track, that'd be super awesome. service they'll be happy to uh pump you out Just wanted to touch on that as we get later in the evening before i forget we'll take the next four pair of pro 275 the next four pair 
Pro 275. That'll be Ron Green, Mo Hall, Brian Chin, Mark Benston Jr., Waller Far Wally Farbakey, Blaine Johnson, Jim Bersani, and Jared Schutte. Paul Curry going to be on the right-hand side of the racetrack, and Brian Mungle. Nova's a piece here. We're good with that. Pro charge power here for Curry. Nitrous is the power out of choice for Mungle on the left hand side. He goes 437-8-167. He'll improve just a little bit, and so will Mungle. 432-4-164 for the Novas apiece there. The Hubbard Hot Rods rolling through. I believe this is our last pair of X275. Somebody got all the RPM band there out of the burnout box. That'd be Nick Souza. Right side. Derek Cooper coming up left side in the Mustang. Working through the burnout or attempting to. Don't sound very, uh, very healthy. Give him a minute, see if he can get it lined out. We're going to go ahead and send the right lane down while the left lane is getting uh, life together, so to speak. Nick Sousa going to build some boost here right side. Four ninety one nine one fifty three. Improve a little bit on his qualifying effort from this morning. They're uh, not setting the world on fire or anything, but they are improving every run out there. So good, good on them for that crew. Derek Cooper, four fifty nine five one thirty one Bowling Green. For the Supercharged, small block forward fits. They got it fired up, and then we pull them forward. This will be our last car here in the X275. Must have had a plug wire fall off or something. You know, something happens there. I had to, like, reset it like the Comcast router, just unplug it for 10 seconds and <laughs> plug it back in and see what happens. I love whenever you call in, you're like, I've done all that. And they're like, well, do it again. We're going to put in the beams here, put on the chip, and let her rip. 108 to 60 foot, clicks it early, close to 473. Saw something he didn't like on the dashboard. It probably lit up real big and was like, no.
pumps, regulators, filters, fueling champions. I got to say, that was quite an exciting round of qualifying here in XU75. Eric LaFerrier and White Rice really just said, here it is, fellas. Come get it. 413-0, new X275 record, both ends for speed and ET. Here, y'all, bullet. I believe he's uh, a couple hundredths off the national X275 record, but as far as the yellow bullet record is concerned, he got that by 100th, I believe. Watching that run actually right now, playback on Motor Mania TV. I believe our next class out is going to be limited drag radial. I was just informed by the stat guy, secondary stat guy, the full record for XG75 was 410 flat, so LaFerrier missed it by three hundredths of a second. But as far as the XG75 record for Yellow Bullet, this event on its own, that one is now on top. For everybody playing along online and racers out there that are in a qualified field, if you want to see where you stand as of uh, the end of the evening, go to gonedragracing.com forward slash Cecil Sheets. And you can see all the printouts from today, all the results.
So attention out there in the pits. Can I get the remainder of Pro 275 cars to the lanes? That is the rest of Pro 275 to the lanes, please. The rest of Pro 275 to the lanes. Please and thank you. The first pair out here in LDR, Paul Gargas, left side, your number one qualifier, 390 flat. And Greg Blevins Jr., right side, 391-4, your number two qualifier. Pro lines a piece, pro chargers a piece, 69 Camaros a piece. C and double. Yeah. Gargas, your number one qualifier. All right, so here we go. First pair out in LDR. Your number one and two qualifiers, respectively. Looking to stay at the top of the sheet. Looking for a little leg stretching room here. A little uh, conversion from Pro 275 to LDR for the car here in the left lane. Uh, used to be campaigned by uh, Mr. Dillard. Good early numbers. Both cars click it early. 101. The pair to 60 foot. Clicked them off right after the 330, it looked like. So Mike Zaccardi, Adam Schultz to the lanes, please. Zaccardi and Adam Schultz to the lanes. So since this is a uh, new class here to Yellow Bullet, this is right now the 390 flat, is uh, the class, you know, the event record, series record, show whatever you want to call it record. But uh, the man leading the pack thus far, Paul Gargas, has the class record of limited drag radio. This is a 386.6. Well, that's what's important. I think I'll all drag radio. Golden Kong is the uh, the blower car. They're the no prep car now. Jamie Hancock here, Opelika, Alabama. Coming at you here with the nitrous power that uh, there's a lot of cars running nitrous now in limited drag radial. The weights are uh, all right there. The After this will no longer be the number one in points, but the current points leader has a nitrous car. Boost coming up from Manson to Soma Power. 968 down low. He's going 80s. 86 9 right there. Three thousandths off the record for Jamie Hancock. Goes to the top of the sheet. Says, Move over, Paul Gargas. I got this. 986 down low. Get some of that. And how about the zoomies? Fire coming out of the zoomies. You got to see every single cylinder hit on that one. Jamie Hancock, not messing around. Andy Manson, 91.6. No slouch either, but Hancock definitely set the bar pretty high.
Houston Dow coming at you in the Devil Horse. Machine, you see the man up front there, Xavier McBride, owns the vehicle there. Part of the uh, broke ass racing team here. Houston Dial, the wheel man, as a uh, Radio vs. the World winner with this car. And Cameron Lomer in the left hand side. And the new to him Chevy. Got the Soma power here. Used to have, a, I think, a XRE Hemi. But let's see what we got here is uh, Limited Drag Radio definitely putting on a show. For the fans here at Yellow Bull and Nationals. Play 4017 for Dial. He will improve. And at 4025, as looks like Cameron on the left hand side having some issues. You saw the nose dip down a little bit early. Top four going 390s, Houston Dial, as well as Cameron, just tickling it there as they're 4017 and 4019, respectively. Gross here, right hand side of the racetrack in the G body, baby. This, uh, that's a fun one right here. Definitely don't see too many G bodies in the, I mean, I think it's the first one I've seen. Well, take that back, Pooch's car, but uh, the Malibu. Not quite uh, common here at this level of it, even though there's some uh, faster G bodies out there in the grudge game and everything else, but good to see them out here. A little Pro Charger power. Joe Newsham in the left-hand side, Slickerville, New Jersey. Sicklerville, New Jersey. 415-0-179 for the number seven qualifier. More better, the story of the weekend thus far. The boost coming up for Newsham Gross. He's just going to roll forward and stand on the freedom pedal. You know, 420 with a 7. He will improve from his 21.9 earlier. Newsham having some problems. He only goes 477. Laboring in the burnout here. Joseph Riviera from Brooklyn, New York. The number eight qualifier, 417-2, getting the nitrous Camaro backed up. And Justin Lair. We pulling forward here. Number 11 qualifier, 430 with a nine, 171.
little reminiscent of the old uh, Kevin Mullins hot rod. The truth. I think it's uh, down in the land uh, down under now. I guess they only made like one snowplow front end for that body style. And you're like, all right, that's good enough for us. There, a 980 down low. He'll go 412 with an 8. Get some of that from the New York machine. He's going to go from 8, I think number 4. He goes from 8 to 7. I forgot this round we've done some jumps. I believe our last pair of limited drag radio. We're getting close to it. Jim Monson. Billy Briggs Racing Engines Mustang here in the left-hand side. And the right is going to be Jason Bershoff here from Bethpage, New York, the 94 Mustang. Supercharged power here, getting him backed up. Number 14 qualifier, 669.8 8 at 85 miles an hour. Oh, he got some work to do here. Ten. Okay, 10 4. We'll write the mile an hour by it. I know that was over the PA, but. Jim Monson, a couple of green machines here. The Fox body in the left hand side and the uh, SN95 in the right. Monson having some problems. I don't know why it's not bumping in, but they're going to red light him. Bershoff having all kinds of problems out there shooting ducks. Well, that worked. Monson didn't stage. He did take the tree. All right, so we're gonna bring us to meatball here. I don't know where we got Hannigan from, but but uh, it's like Hansik, Hansich, Han yeah. No problem. My man's JoJo out there. Oh, slim fit. Mm. Mm -mm. It was funny. I was over there on our break talking to JoJo as he was, you know, trying to tune the wagon. And he's like, ah, oh, don't worry about trying to get Vince's name right. Just call him Meatball. And I thought that he was, you know, like BSing me. And then like four people came over and like, what's up, Meaty? That's awesome, man. As this is uh, a no time car. So like his first pass ever with the clocks on so there you go definitely got a got some hate from the local homies but he's like look man it's go ball, let's go yeah let's do it he's uh he's out here trying to get some eighth mile testing to go quarter mile racing at world cup and uh, i think jojo just went out on his own as far as uh performance shop so yeah. congratulations to jojo on his new uh adventure
Yeah, I'm about to uh, move on down to North Kakalaki here. I know him, he's excited. Sure, uh, Aria is watching on. She's like, ah, oh, look at JoJo. Out there having fun. I'm down here working. And Richard Disher, another uh, person watching online. It's going to be Justin Harris. Sure, he's trying to watch the live feed right now. Like, come on. I tell Joe what to do. This is the tune up. This is what to do with the chassis. Out there hopping and popping. Stop with some heat and skating. Here we go. 441 5 for Meatball. Did you did you say that Richard was yeeting and skeeting? Yeeting and skeeting. Yeeting and skeeting. I'm about I'm to use that. I'm going to incorporate that in You like uh, that? That was good, huh? So on the live feed over here, the. <laughs> Yeah, the it's chat the chat's going going a little crazy here. They're like, we got a meatball, we got a cheeseburger. Might have we might have changed cheeseburger to slider, but this is Tim Huspin here in the left hand side. A four eyed machine going to get pulled forward. Nice little paint job on the machine here. Mr. Husband, 431-0-175. I'm putting him solidly in the show, but I can't get to it. Oh, no, I can't get to it. Hit it again. Hit it again. Yeah, thank you. Put him number 15. And Mr. Vandish. Mr. Vanish is going to get it on the qualifying sheet, make sure he was good. We're going to have a, a little extended track prep as, uh, you know, we go from 390s, 40s to like 360s, 370s. So getting a little bit faster here. A little bit smaller tire. A little bit smaller tire. You can't run a 275. It's really kind of weird in Limited LDR. Track radio, yeah, yeah. LDR, I don't know why, but whatever. Hill and Atomizer, the only purpose-built drag racing injector on the market. Built and manufactured by racers in the USA. Custom sizing and inlet designs, an all-new website. Complete refresh service. And the only rebuildable fuel injector on the market. You get the right injector the first time. See why more champions run our injectors than any other brand at AtomizerFuelComponents.com.
I could write a rhyme, sing a song, do a jingle, but I don't have to, because my parts, well, they speak for themselves. Check out jovano.ca, hardcore race car parts for hardcore racers. The pros, well, they know. They know that light is right. And the pros know, they know Joe. Shouldn't you? Joe Van O, hardcore carbon fiber race car parts. For doing a little traction farming here, the moon's coming up over the trees over there on the pit side. Full moon. That looks cool. Get some good pictures of that. You guys out there with the Samsung cameras with the two million times zoom, you could probably see if there's Martians on the moon with that thing. So Pro 275 going to be coming at you next. Here at the the Cecil County Dragway. Once again, we're calling these Promon drivers only. 
Nova Joe, Jim Halsey, Chuck Olsh, James Beadling, Andy Jensen, Mike Decker the Third, Derek Woolley and or Derek Ward and Steve Woolley. So here we go. I hear horsepower. Pro 275 coming to you in the water box. This one sounds loud, but then here's a louder one. Marcus Burt wanging it out of the throttle, out of the burnout box. Uncle Tommy said, do your thing. Now, I've seen a lot of 69 Camaros in my life and uh, Scott Tidwell has a thing for him but this has to be probably one of the rowdiest looking ones here is the Jason Collins hot rod here I'd it just uh, like looks fast sitting still yeah I say Jason Collins hot rod with the Scott Tidwell machine Jason Collins driving this thing and uh, if you ever been to Steel, Alabama Alabama International Dragway the Collins family is uh, responsible for it there, and they put on quite the show, whether it's grudge racing or radio racing or even uh, big tire no prep kings racing. So this is going to be one heck of a drag race if both cars make the trip. Marcus Burt, no slouch. Jason Collins is your current number two qualifier. Marcus Burt, number one, just one thousandth of a second separate him on the qualifying sheet. I don't think it's going to be like a huge swing, but I would say probably like maybe a 65 or a high 64 if they both improve. The air is pretty crisp. We uh, we might have the right conditions for a, I'm not going to say it, but a, maybe a one-tenth lower pass. The chat over here on the Motor Mania TV live feed, they're, uh, they're begging for a 50. 
it'll be like a hundredth or two hundredth, but a whole tenth is not going to do you much luck of good of anything. That's going to get you a lot of problems. So both drivers are in. Here we go. Top end, 363, 8, Jason Collins, Marcus Burt, 380, 200. I think you were pretty spot on. Jay Essen, man. Jay Essen there. Good shot for Jason Collins. I think he just reset his own record right there for Pro 275. Like it's, you know, as the, uh, the great Billy Stockland said, like it's not racing, it's a math problem. Like you can only turn the tire so many times. The Collins crew definitely has it figured out there. What's interesting is before we started this round, we had a pair of 366s, one and two, a pair of 377s, three and four. So here we go with Brian McGee and Roger Holder. That's your pair of 377s. Yeah, and, uh, you know, my man's Roger definitely been fast a lot of stuff, but I'm going to say this is probably as fast as ever here in uh, at least this car, much less his clocks on career here. Good to see the Alliance Custom Motorsport team uh, got a hold of the old machine. Uh, used to have the Big Nova, and they called the Gospels twin turbo deal. It took flight and got rebuilt and just never really. I always say, like, it when uh, won COVID 8 way back when and pretty much rode the shield all the way down. And he's like, yeah, that's pretty much what happened. Like, couldn't get anything done after that. So that's why this car got put together. So Brian McGee and Roger Holder looking to rotate the earth here. Get that moon a little higher in the sky. And moving up to qualifying sheet. Candles are lit on the left side. Check it out. Getting after it there. 376-2. McGee improves. Holder, you would look at that and you say doesn't improve, but he pretty much backs up what he did earlier. So that is an improvement knowing what that car normally wants to do. 198 mile an hour apiece for both cars. How about the candles lit on the zoomies on the left lane? I love me some nitrous cars at night. Yeah, all the Fulton cylinders was taking all the nitrous and then some. Man. All right, Bill Lutz coming back at you here on the right-hand side of the racetrack. He said, man, uh, we started early in the day. They gave me plenty of time to get the blower attached there. Said on Facebook they got after it a little bit, zipped a head gasket, and it took the blower, pushed it up in the air. So. The Jack Green left side in the CTSV, one of the more unique rides here in the Pro 75 category. Yeah, they call it the Butcher. He also has a uh, four-door Impala that's really, really sweet. Like, real fast. Just unique cars all over up yeah. there. So both these cars looking to improve just a touch, maybe stretch your legs a little bit here in the qualifying sheet. Want to stay on the top half of the qualifying ladder for sure. Yeah, have you ever seen the video of like that kid on the dirt bike just bouncing up and down and going? I feel like that's the Lutz combo. That thing just sounds like it's already running low 370s. That's for sure. It's definitely one of the louder blower cars on the property. I don't know too much about the blower combo, but uh, they don't all idle up like that. That's just me. Going to hit it one time with the de-icer. Put it in the staging beams. If Bill Lutz can keep it together. We may see a new number one qualifier. Good early numbers. And sound like we lost another blower. So uh, our own episode of Pro 275 Groundhog Day there is... Well, that's Knox the blower off it again. That's, I know they like to work on things, but eventually you're not going to have time in between rounds of eliminations. We're watching it back again here at Motor Mania TV. Looks like it popped a blower about 400 feet, and it uh, now, it knocked it clean off. That one wasn't as violent as earlier. That one just sort of. Well, I can guarantee you they're going to have a lot of work to do. I felt a concussion up here. I've seen the glass move in the tower. 
I'm sure everybody down here on the uh, right side uh, bleacher section got a pretty good uh, little concussion blast for that blower bang. He will stay number five. Jack Green uh, does not improve either. He will stay number seven. So we'll check out the track, make sure there's no uh, hemi pieces there on the racetrack. A little residual hemi power. Yeah. No low ballers. I know what I got. Looks like we're going to have to do a little uh, maintenance. That's the reason why Jack Green uh, was down on speed there. Is apparently uh, lost a drive shaft because they're picking up carbon fiber in the left-hand lane. Well, that explains it. We're watching the uh, slow-mo replay here. So everybody's like, man, Bill, you lost all this weight. Like, how'd you do it? And it's... He does the uh, skinny me America shots, but I really think it's from just rebuilding Hemis in between I think, rounds. I think you might be right because uh, them boys put in some work over there to get this car back together. Now we found out that Jack Green lost a drive shaft. I'm watching again yeah, on the so Motor Mania TV the, live uh, replay. Yeah, so if you spark there, you just pop the trunk on the oh. spark. Yep, or the sure spark enough. Bar, the black one. So there it goes. So you can sit in the back of it. Like it's a tailgate. That's definitely not a parking Just about area. the time There's that Bill Lutz that goes banged right the blower, the drive shaft I'm trying to be nice. left the yep. chat on the CTSV. So as we clean up here to the left side from the carbon fiber from the drive shaft and the Bill Lutz kaboom. Got about seven or eight pair left here in Pro 275. Still to come at you. And then don't forget, Pro Mod will follow Pro 275. We're going to have a four-car shootout boosted version and a four-car shootout nitrous version. We've called Pro Mods to the lanes by name. Hopefully you guys have brought it to the lanes. So we've called Steve Worley, Derek Ward, Mike Decker III, Andy Jensen, James Beedling, Chuck Olsh, and Joe Albright. Albright? I'm just going with Nova Joe for the rest of the weekend. And Jim Halsey. We called your name. That means you're not in the shootout. I don't know if you know that, but now you know that. Jason Collins got a big old smile on his face there. He says, I'll show you a little something about this race car here. We don't need two Pro 275 cars. We need one. That's this bad man of Jimmer right here.
So it sounds like we have fire in the pipes back there. I'm bringing you the next pair here at Pro 275. See a man to May out there, so that means that Frank Soldridge is on the line and the Allen, Kentucky based machine here, Carbon 65 Corvette getting backed up. His opponent, Luis Cortino, number six qualifier, got the nitrous power. You know, for a lot of times, everybody's like, nitrous is dead, nitrous is dead. Like, well, when you get a car that weighs what it needs to weigh to be competitive, you got I a know, thing or two. I know I said it earlier, but I, again, I want to say congratulations to uh, Frank Soldier's dad. Just tied the knot at the ripe old age of 75. They're here on their honeymoon. What a place to honeymoon. The yellowbullet.com nationals. I can't think of a better spot. Never too late to find the love of your life. Is, is that what you're saying? Never too late. So Frank Soldier going to light the pre-stage bulb here. Scortino's creep it up. It's definitely not a parking spot there. Gorotino got him a set of goodbyes on that thing. He ran right out of soldiers' life. 379.5 for Scorotino. Come on, Kazali. Ron Green and Superman, Mo Halsey. On the left-hand side, Laytonsville, Maryland. Well, speaking of fast nitrous cars, here's Mo Hall. I know the car's been into the 70s. So attention out there to the pits real quick. We got a red Nissan Sentra parked on the tower side in the pits. Pennsylvania Tags KCS 7930. You are parked in a racer pit and we need it moved now. It's one of them things like, you know, Mo Hall would, when the, um, he had the C6 vet, the other vet. The other vet. Yeah, the other vet. It wasn't exactly the fastest. It wasn't, you know, the top of the sheet, but. You know, dollars of donuts, he was going down every single time, low 70s each time. The other there was bet. no room for error. It was like a bracket car. And then he said, you know what? I'm going to build a new car. All this money I'd be winning. It's been a little rough go so far. It's all right. This is why we test and data and all that good stuff. So we can go faster. So do you count qualifying as testing? Maybe. Interesting. I think anytime you get data, it's testing. Wheels up, left side. Had to get out of it. 65, 4, 202. There you go. Superman playing possum out there. With Superman the said, here I am. Don't count me out. Goes a numero dos. Don't call it a comeback because we never left. Ron Green. Climbing the ring gear out there about 300 feet. Had to step off the loud pedal. Wheelie control? Never heard of her. She ain't around these parts of the woods. Great job of driving by Ron Green, though. Seriously. That car was coming up in a hurry, and he was able to catch it. The Mohal will be number two for now. The Mark Benson Jr. left side in the familiar shade of black. Brian Chin backing up the uh, Great China machine here in the right lane.
Hey, my man down there on the four-wheeler. That's not a parking spot in front of the tower. Yeah, you. You guys. And the scooter. That not hog. a parking spot. Got to park that hog somewhere else. Psst. Talking to you. He ain't listening. Not a parking spot. Thank you. Shout out to the uh, He's gotta get in gear. box yelling at him, too. To start throwing beers at him. Don't move. Penalty box over there doing crowd control. We love you guys. Shout out to the penalty box. We're going with Gray China? Is that what we're going with? You heard it here first, folks. Gray China. I mean, I don't know. Did Superman have a Robin? Was Did he have a sidekick? Superman did not have a sidekick. It was okay. it was put in Supergirl? I think so. Okay. But, but I don't care. We're not going to do that to the home. No, no, no. The Gray China. Get it. 376, 9, 194. Benson goes 380 with a three. He will pick up a couple numbers there. Chin goes number five. Benson, a few behind him at number eight. That was one of the more better laps I've seen Benson make in a long time here. Butcher looking good here. Jack Green just a cruising. A little shorter intermission of prep here before we finish up the last half of Pro 275. Going to be a, uh, a shortened version here. The accelerated version, abbreviated, so to speak. For all my spectators out there, just remember, at the end of Pro Mod, we're going to have our first round of the four-car shootout boosted version and a four-car shootout nitrous version. And uh, the name is on the list for the shootout. Let me tell you, it's going to be quite an exciting first round. Got some really good matchups coming up.
So Wally Farbank, he left side, coming up against my man Blaine Johnson out there in the big blown Mopar. We love us some blown Mopars here. And this Mopar's got all the blower. Wally over there uh, getting it, I think, figured out or fired up. I got a bunch of people standing over there looking. They're mean mugging it. Yeah, Steve Roden. There we go. Three sixty-three eight is what it's going to take to go to the top. The legend racing tuned hot rod here in the left hand side. So Blaine Johnson out here right side from Haynesport, New Jersey. This car has gone through its growing pains. They finally got it lined out. This car is making some really fast passes. I believe 389 might be his career personal best, if I'm not mistaken. We'll see if he can better that here. Great China in the house. Great China. Blaine Johnson going to clean it out one more time. Yeah. We like them throttle wax. Yeah. But it's like you get the whack and there's no, like, no deepness to it. Whereas, like, you do that, like, on a big, like, 5.3 nitrous motor and it kind of feel it. Jam up crew out there in the staging lanes. Hats off to you guys. So Farbakey going to build some boost. Blaine Johnson's in. Looks like Johnson's got a hold of one. Farbakey coming at him. Lots of smoke top end. 389.5 for Blaine Johnson. Four flat for Farbakey. That's a good run for Wally. It didn't sound too hot because he let off and you could still hear the motor rolling up there. So. Watch yeah, the he, here. he definitely, uh, definitely let the factory smoke out of that one on the right side. And you know what they say about factory smoke. Once you let it out, you can't put it back in. So I got to check that one out. Roger, whose car is that down there? That one, yeah. That ain't the normal one. You sure that you sure you didn't do the old switcheroo? So as you can see, we got a Teta machine headed down to the bottom end of the or top end of the track. Uh, do a little clean up here for Mr. Johnson. As uh He's going to have some work to do this evening.
Uh, fantastic. Thank you to the yellowbullet.com national s sponsors. Mickey Thompson Tires, MH Mechanicals, Jessel Valve Train, Induction Solutions, Hoops Fire Prevention, Hearts Turbo, Silvato Designs, Fuel Tech, Pro Charger, and CLK Customs. Well, the fluid is way on down on the top end, but uh, we still got to get some of it uh, cleaned up and got to broom up some parts and pieces of a Hemi. And we definitely want to give a big shout out to some of the other drivers, or I'm sorry, other sponsors. Some of them are drivers that have kicked in extra money on top of the Yellowbull.com Nationals payout. You know, there's $600 to win in. Uh, or six hundred dollars for number of qualifier and A and B for Warriors, and that was put on by pretty much all the racers. Threw up some money. Oh yeah, to like uh, Gene Pilot throwing in a thousand in number one. That's I know that's terrible writing, but that's P Pilot. Yeah. Apparently there's two eyes in Pilot. <laughs> thousand thousand dollars for number of qualifier and Pro Mod, courtesy of Gene Pilot, and uh, CLK Customs for coming through with a hundred dollars in a T-shirt for the best losing package in Pro Dial. And I know you, uh, you're you like, best losing package. Uh, yeah. Basically, if you mess it up the best, you get awarded. They got some pretty nice shirts down there. Yeah. Canvas Plus throwing in 500 on Pro Mod. Limited Drag Radio, Pro 275, and Top Sportsman. So I guess you're getting 1,500 if you're the number one qualifier in Pro Mod. That is true. That's we could do the math. We can math. Maybe we'll talk uh, CLK Customs into throwing in $100 for best losing package in Top Sportsman. At least a t-shirt. I mean.
It sounds like we're putting the finishing touches here on the cleanup down there at the top end of the racetrack. Hopefully we get back to racing action soon. We got a heck of a finale coming in Pro Mod. Uh, the four-car shootout for the boosted category and the nitrous category. Since we have most of our, probably all the pro mods that aren't in the shootout in the lanes. In the first round of the booster shootout, you're going to see Mike Decker Jr. taking on the winner of the last month's race, Kevin McCurdy. And this will be a good one. Tommy Gray taking on Mr. Steve King for your second pair of the booster shootout. Nitrous shootout. We'll feature Freddie Scribe taking on uh, Mike Achenbach and Matty Deitch against the Black Mama, Keith Haney. So they're going on to the first round of the four-car shootout tonight and second round, which would be your final, tomorrow in queue number three. I think the Decker McCurdy matchup in the boosted category is going to be the the close race here. I'm a Freddie Scriba fan, so I'm going to go with Scriba and Achenbach matchup as the the better of the two pair. I like Scriba all the way, actually. I think it's hard in the boosted category. I think whoever wins out of Decker and McCurdy are going to go the distance in the boosted category. That's my call. But who am I? I'm just a lonely announcer up here. Barrett's over there looking at me like I'm crazy. Lowly and lonely, both.
So if uh, we got our guy and gal here on the golf cart, that's not a parking area for the golf cart. Thank you. Also, I'm just informed. Yes, that's right. Money. <laughs> Say money halls. Monty Miko's birthday today, which I definitely don't believe. But happy birthday, Monty. This one's for you. Happy birthday. No, I'm just kidding. We got the penalty box out there. And now I got my own little cheering section down here. The leg maker intakes crew in the house. Shout out to my one fan who's definitely not watching online. She's probably <laughs> we're asleep. up to eight. We're up to eight or nine fans. Well, if you add them, we're at twelve ish, give or take. Twelve and a half. You stay in the same bed as one of those fan bases. So All that, right, that, so twelve that, and, that and a half. Out. Twelve and a half. Point three. <laughs> oh my god! Here we go. So it looks like the uh, lights are off on the pace tractor. Should we wrap it up, just clean up here in a second? I believe we are about halfway through. We're on pair number eight of 13 here in Pro 275. And then that means we're getting closer to the big floppy tires, Pro Mod action. I've called a few of you by name. You guys should be in the lanes. I haven't called the remainder of the Pro Mods yet, but I'm sure we'll be doing that shortly. I know a couple of blower cars in Pro Season M5, they're going to have a whole lot of work ahead of them. The Lutz crew down there, they're going to get really good at building Hemis this weekend. Blaine Johnson's going to have a few uh, bolts to tighten down. We've still got a couple of uh, really interesting pairs to bring you here in uh, Pro 275. Paul Major still to run. Bob Clayton going to come back up and give it another shot. Michael Zaccardi, if he makes the call in the twin turbo Cuda coming up. All these cars are very capable of putting it way up the sheet. So here we go. Pro 275 coming back at you. So Jared Schutte left side. Jim Bersani. in the brightly painted Mustang right side over here. Leave a pair of turbo cars. Shooty currently sitting number 16, 452.3. Not his best effort. Rosani, 4024. I believe he pedaled it and got back in it. In Q number one. Let's see if these guys can put their best foot forward here in the cool air. And session number two here for Pro 275. So what is that like? You just you you put your left foot in. I mean, it's more right foot ah. to the floor, but okay. You put your right foot down. So the bump right now in Pro 275, 452.3. And the man in the left lane is your bump spot. Whole shot right side. Sheesh. Bersani let the smoke out of that one. Jiminy Christmas. Shooty goes 439.8. That'll improve his qualifying effort, but not moving him up to sheet. Just kind of parks him in the 16 spot a little better. Did Bersani move up? Bersani did not. Mm. What did it cost? Everything. His engine moved up. 
Yeah, Chad's like, just go. Just, just let me know. Ooh, we got us a scooter race. Oil pressure has left the chat. 